Welcome to the observatory here at the H.R. McMillan Space Center. Now, uh, as the weather gets a little bit nicer, you are able to come down on Saturday nights and actually look through our telescope here at the H.R. McMillan Space Center uh, anytime after 8 o'clock on a Saturday night. As the weather gets a bit better, it's a lot easier to see things. Now, Reminder is here at our telescope, and this is an uh, optical telescope, correct? Yes, that's right. But Reminder is going to tell us that there's actually different ways of looking at the nighttime sky. So we have uh, an optic telescope, what else, what else can we use? You can use x-rays, you can use infrared, you can use gamma rays, you can also even use radio waves. So how does a radio telescope uh, work? Is that, is that like me listening to the radio or? Well, it's similar. It actually listens to radio signals from outer space instead of, say, from... There's radio channels out in space? I didn't know that. I, I have the satellite stuff, but is that actually coming from space? Uh, not quite the same thing. No, okay. So what does it look like? They look very different. They look like giant, uh, those old satellite dishes. Okay. And some are really large. Some are, say, for example, Arecibo is uh, even the size of like a football field. And you can, uh, the thing with radio telescopes is you can actually net link them electronically. So you can have some that are across continents, but they, uh, they use a tr clever trick called interferometry and they actually make it simulate a giant telescope that's the size of a continent. So interferometry yes. takes a whole bunch of different smaller radio telescopes and actually links them together to make one big giant radio telescope? Yeah, the resolution of one big giant radio telescope. Wow. And so what would we see if we were uh, looking at the uh, results of a radio telescope but that we can't see with the naked eye? It looks very different from, say, your optical telescopes. Like, stars don't show up that much. You actually see emissions from, say, galaxies that are in radio. From, so some of these are actually from like black holes, which you can't actually see in other types of light. So galaxies look very different in radio. You can see some of the colder gas, some of the colder dust as well. And I'm assuming that we uh, astronomers are going to use this depending on what it is that they're searching for. So sometimes it would be uh, great to use a radio telescope to get that kind of data. Uh, an optic telescope would show them something else. And then yeah. these other types of telescopes would be able to provide different information. All of that goes to help find out what's going on out in space. In fact, they actually use radio telescopes to look for alien life as well. Excellent, always good, cool. So again, if you do find yourself down here uh, in Vanier Park on Saturday nights, anytime after about eight o'clock, the telescope is gonna be open. You can come over here and have a look. It's, it's by donation and if it's a clear night, fantastic things to see with an optic telescope. And uh, just remember though, that's not the only way of looking at things out in space. There's a whole bunch of different ways of looking out there. It just depends on what you are actually searching for. Uh, for the Express, here at the H.R. McMillan Space Center, I'm Cam Cronin. I'm Andrew Samurai and uh, happy nighttime looking.